Hello everyone, Ace here, and today, well, in for a penny, in for a pound, because we're going to have to talk about the extra credits controversy yet again. So it seems that the folks behind extra credits have finally decided to make an official statement regarding all of the feedback that their video has received. This statement came in the form of an edit of an already existing comment that they had made days ago, where they provided a playlist of other videos that talked about politics in video games. So let's go ahead and read that now, shall we? Edit. Hey folks, so this one seems to have struck a nerve. We encourage discussion about the topic, and there is some fair criticism of the video out there. However, I wanted to address some of the comments that seem to have misunderstood some aspects of the video. 1. We never said that playing as a Nazi turns you into a Nazi. That's not how that works. That's not how any of this works. However, there is plenty of research about how art and media can shift people's perspectives. This is not a good or bad thing. This is just a natural effect of culture. Please look up the Overton window or heck, you can watch our video on propaganda games over here. Okay, so I'm not going to click on the link itself, but I am, however, going to address what they're trying to suggest here. First of all, Extra Credits, since you've decided to recommend us to actually look up the definition of the Overton window, I have a definition I should recommend you looking up, specifically the word doublethink. However, since your video here has made me well aware of your research skills, or lack thereof, I should say, I'll provide the definition here for you which is the acceptance of or mental capacity to accept contrary opinions or beliefs at the same time, especially as a result of political indoctrination. And the reason I bring this up is the fact that you are actively engaging in doublethink in your first point here. Being a Nazi means having a very set political and ideological perspective. So to first blatantly say that a particular form of art cannot turn a person into a Nazi, while at the same time making a suggestion that research has been showing that people's political perspectives can be shifted by forms of art, is holding two contrarian positions at the exact same time. This, like I've said, is an example of doublethink. In fact, if you want evidence of you yourself making the suggestion that these games do actually make you sympathetic to these particular perspectives, I need only draw your attention to the timestamp of 2 minutes and 31 seconds of your particular video, as it will demonstrate you making this argument. In fact, you know what? Here is the exact part of the clip that I'm talking about. By the time you've played 100 hours of being a Nazi, their voice stabs become memes and in-jokes with your friends. By the thousandth time you've respawned as a terrorist, you're either celebrating them or making fun of them, neither of which helps the global crisis we have that takes thousands of lives every year. Anyways, I'll kind of admit that I missed a line at the very end, but it basically is more of the same thing, so I can make the exact same argument there. So let's move on to point two, shall we? We never said that games should never let you play as Nazis or terrorists, for that matter. If you need the exact timestamp, it's at 447. There's a lot of potential for some really interesting or impactful games that put the player in the boots of people or in control of systems that have done incredible harm, but it can't be done thoughtlessly or just as a skin on top of mechanics, devoid of context. Okay, a few things here. First of all, there is very clear context, such as the fact that it's set in a World War II setting. That provides some context and backstory to what is actually going on within the game. But even ignoring that, there's another major issue with your particular line of thinking here. And that is the fact that it's not only critical of games that do this, you're also being critical of players that play as the Axis powers in these kinds of games. If you want evidence of you making this particular argument, I suggest going back and looking at the clip I've already shown from your video. But there's another timestamp too I can provide as well. Specifically for 57, only 10 seconds after your particular timestamp, where you say, and I quote, but what we are saying is the fact that you are playing as a Nazi or a terrorist in a game has to mean something. And the implications here are that it's not only critical of the game that allows this, but also the player that chooses to play as a Nazi or a terrorist in a game. That it has to mean something about the player that decides to play as a Nazi or a terrorist in a video game. And I have more proof that shows that Extra Credits does think in this manner. Look at timestamp 3 minutes and 33 seconds, where they make the suggestion of adding the ability to pick your team in the match, and then go on to suggest that this will most likely result in potentially game-breaking issues, such as the notion that the teams will be so heavily imbalanced because very few players will apparently want to play as Nazis or terrorists. So the conclusion, therefore, is that Extra Credits believes the people that are actually willing to play as Nazis or terrorists in a video game somehow must hold extremist opinions. Of course, the vast majority of players will know that this notion is utter nonsense. I really do have to wonder just how close-minded Extra Credits must be for thinking in this manner. 
So anyways, moving on. Three, for those saying that it's just a game and we shouldn't think too hard about it, I feel like perhaps it might be important to introduce ourselves. Hi, we're Extra Credits. Our tagline for a very long time was because games matter. It's something we fundamentally believe, and if you don't, that's okay. But then our content might not be for you, because thinking hard about games is kind of our shtick. No, it is not extra credits, and I can prove it because of the absolutely haphazard job you've done on this video, especially in terms of research, and the first video I did in reaction to your work here demonstrates this. And since we're on the subject of because games matter, I actually am critical of you because I believe games matter. Because I'm sick and tired of seeing people like you treating video games as little more than tools for your political positions. Video games should not be subservient to any political ideology. They should be able to stand on their own proudly, as both an art form and as a form of entertainment. By contrast, those that are trying to force politics into video games are doing so at the direct expense of the games themselves. We've seen this time and time and time again. Instead, the first and main priority should always be, will this make the game better? And you aren't arguing for making games better, either from an artistic perspective nor from an entertainment perspective. But anyways, let's move on. Four, our writing staff is the same, and we've always talked about politics in games in our other videos. If this comes as a surprise to you, or you think there's been a large shift in our thinking, I'd invite you to take a look at some of our older episodes. We live in a time where neo-Nazis exist, and they've seemed to have increasingly found a home in gaming communities. This isn't something we can turn a blind eye anymore, and it's important to consider what we, as game designers, can do to try and make things better. My advice to try and actually make things better is to actually just ignore every one that tries to force politics into games and treat them as the terminal cancer of the industry that they actually are. But since you've brought it up, Extra Credit, could you please link us all the source that you've used that shows that the gaming community is apparently more infested with neo-Nazis than, say, the general community? You know, all five neo-Nazis in the world or whatever? Or did that statement just come out of your backside like the rest of the video did? And for those of you who think I'm actually being too hard on Extra Credits here, well, allow me to show you some tweets from the community manager of Extra Credits, who genuinely believes that all of the people that are unsubscribing from their channel or simply disliking the video are outright bigots, and that they actually want you to unsubscribe from their channel. Yeah, they actually said that. And you know what? If the community manager wants you to unsubscribe from their particular channel, well, why don't I spread the word and try to get it as far as possible? So please feel free to share this video wherever you want. Well, that's all I've got for this particular video, but in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.